All right, so this is the uh, firewall uh, top bulkhead. So, uh, so I tried to do what is stated, which is uh, draw a big curved line and then end up here at uh, 180 degree because the plywood on top will overlap for an inch and a quarter here. So I did this, and then we'll cut both sides at the same time so that my uh, jig is, uh, my paper jig is the same. And then we'll transfer to my template for making the laminate. This is the, uh, as per other videos, my pre-curving uh, jig. Now I've uh, installed these small blocks. Now I'm just pre-bending uh, it. All right, lots of pressure. You need some serious clamps for a change. Mm, and make sure you have some clamps like these guys. Make sure it stays flat because this is like slippery like oil. All right, so this is out of the jig. So one shot in the joiner and then one shot <coughs> on the good edge to get the correct thickness. Okay, clean the uh, lamination up, install back the uh, lower part of the firewall in place, align it on my lines, some, s some solid blocks that align with these guys so I can clamp the posts. We're just going to fill with some gussets, that'll be it. I put also some uh, packing tape where there's going to be uh, glue. Glue up done. So staples, clamps, uh, weights, make sure everything is stable, uh, use a ruler, make sure that this plane was straight, this guy was a bit reluctant, that's why I had to go with uh, something a bit more extreme, so just make sure that everything is stable, you have no gaps uh, between your uh, sur plane surface. Alright, all done. So now it's just a matter of installing plywood on one side. For the second side, I will use the uh, clear coat epoxy so I can use it as a varnish. So it will be used on the inside of the ply and on the flat surface. And on the plywood side, I will be putting some epoxy glue, uh, T88. So the two will join together and it will be our varnished up.